Um, I was kind of inspired by our discussion about uh, importing frog activities, so I wanted to give it a shot. Um, let's see, here we have, actually this is a brainstorm, where students can add any learning items. Uh, I have an idea. And I'm going to add another, let's make this, let's make this, uh, galleries so let's add an operator that gets let's say hypothesis ideas about learning I'm going to just restart this graph and I'm going to run it so the operator can trigger and now I'm going to go into the brainstorm and export it to the wiki page. So this is basically what you would do after the activity has already run. Um, so let's expect this to test uh, brainstorm. Okay, and this one here you see the payload from the operator. This is the hypothesis annotation. So let's export this to test hypothesis. Okay. Now let's sorry, let's go to the wiki. And we have two pages here. We have a brainstorm. So we can still edit. I mean this was empty, but um, when we turn on uh, the editing we can use it as we would expect. We have the hypothesis which as you see contains um, all of the outputs of the operator. So that's kind of nice. So we can also create new um, pages based on four activity types from here. So for example I can create a common knowledge board. So let's say we have four quadrants. And we can add the um, single words. And we'll call this uh, concept map. And here we can add some concepts. And of course, all of this works perfectly. across with data synchronization and so on. So what you just saw is a tricky part because right now I'm uh, when I'm showing activities in um, view mode I turn them on read only and that works in the turn in the sense that the way I'm doing it is basically uh, disabling the share DB the problem is that that's really confusing for people because there's no visual showing that this is not in edit mode. Um, so for now we probably should just always have it in edit mode and then what I can do in the future is to ha give the activity types a bit more understanding of what edit and view mode mean so that for example in uh, view mode I remove this one and even disable this kind of dragging. Uh, we'll have to talk about that. Um, also, otherwise it's working pretty well and we can even see here that we can um, let's see if we can embed some of these types. So if I try to embed um, hypothesis, so look at that, that's actually a frog activity type uh, embedded inside a learning item in a wiki. It's pretty crazy. I'm not sure if the concept map's gonna work because of the CSS. Yeah, and there's a problem there because it's assuming 100% CSS. So um, I don't know how to fix that uh, unless we make it a model or something. Anyway, 
yeah and if you if you if we make it thumbnail i just show this icon and uh, the name of the activity so um pretty horrible ui for now but it uh mostly works